What is up everyone, Hurricane Liz here, back for another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can get started selling really weird things and start making $100 a day using Amazon FBA. And as usual, I'm gonna show you the products that I've sold in route to making millions of dollars on Amazon. These are the same things that I started with and now I have really huge private label brands. However, we're not gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about how you can get started today. So if you like the content that I have on this channel, please subscribe and I'll continue to bring you more content of actual things that I'm doing and selling on Amazon. So let's go ahead and just jump in and get started and look at a couple unusual things that really, like for me, got me started. If it wasn't for being able to sell things like this, then I wouldn't have real big private label bands that people that are actually made offers on. So let me show you one of those examples. Okay, so I'm on my screen share and my absolute favorite place to pick up things is Dollar Tree. And I know there's a lot of Dollar Tree haul videos out there and things like that, but what I would use Dollar Tree to do is not just to haul individual pieces, but to actually haul groups and bundle them. So for example, right now I could see what's hot, Mardi Gras supplies, game day supplies for the Super Bowl, and St. Patrick's party day supplies. So it is possible that you could put together game day supplies that look like this. Notice these party supplies, they could be sold out because it is so close to the actual Super Bowl. And in fact, that's what it looks like is happening here. There's no more of those football plates. However, which which things like this, However, keep in mind that each Dollar Tree around you will have different things in stock. So just because they're sold out online doesn't mean that they're sold out in store. So what I would actually do is go to the Dollar Tree and look for things to put together. So the football thing is a huge thing for me. So if I was to actually go to Amazon and look up Super Bowl, you can see the very top trending search right now is party supplies and decorations. And if I click into party, Super Bowl party supplies, you're gonna see that there's quite a bit of things, including some of these football themed plates. I'm pretty sure a lot of these were from right here, Party City. So you can clearly see this is from Party City. So what you could do is break apart a bunch of pieces and put them together and create your very own unique bundle. And then it becomes like a private label product. So let's take a look at some of the actual brand names for some of these if we click into them. This is Hero Fiber, which is clearly only selling Super Bowl party supplies. I would be stunned if they were selling anything else, and they are. So you can see it's a lot more actual bundles. So you could actually literally take and look and see what kind of bundles they're selling. Like look at this Minecraft party supply for 16. They're getting this from somewhere. So you could almost just reverse engineer what these guys are doing and also sell it yourself. So all they're doing is creating a bunch of bundles with plates and napkins. And again, this is how I started. My very first sets of things that I sold were Halloween napkins and Super Bowl napkins. And then I went on to Easter napkins and all sorts of crap like that. People go bananas over party supplies. So don't be shy, put a party pack together, put it up out there on Amazon and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. But that's the very first thing that I would look at is look up party supplies. What's trending? So you might wonder, how do I figure out what is trending? Well, the first thing to do is just go to Amazon and then ask it what's trending and it'll kind of tell you from the search results. But the other thing that you can go to is Google Trends to see what's going on. I was on here earlier and I, found it pretty alarming. The, the big things going on right now are the Democratic primaries, the NFL playoffs, which again goes to show you why Super Bowl party accessories are so hot, Golden Globes, which again gave me an idea, okay, if Golden Globes is happening, just like Oscars happen, then are there party supplies for Golden Globes? And so I looked up Golden Globes, and guess what happened when I looked that up? I searched it here, and boom, there it popped up, award trophy party decorations. So if I click in a Golden Globe award trophy, while this isn't party supplies, it still shows you that you could still make an opportunity for selling additional things. You could grab some of these and bundle them with plates. So these sell like hotcakes. Look at these BSRs. This is an indication of a lot of sales in the niche. Let's just look this one up and figure out how that is selling. So I'm gonna go to FBA Toolkit. And I'm gonna put 2,800 in toys and games and hit go. And it's selling 30 units a day right now that the Golden Globes are happening. And these are also selling really well with numbers like this. But 
We're not here to sell trophies, even though we can break them apart and stick them in our actual bundle. We're here to sell Golden Globe party supplies or party decorations. And let's take a look at what's hot. We could potentially put together some napkins or grab a couple of these from either Amazon and or AliExpress, bundle them and sell them. Right here, these guys here put a bunch of, uh, I, don't, I don't know what they did, but I'm not really too fond of it. But there's a lot of other things that you can put together. Balloons, you could put together trophies. You could probably even put together some of these decorations and sell them as a bundle. These party favors. And now you got yourself a Golden Globes bundle. And I'm not saying to go out there and do the Golden Globes bundle. I actually thought that the Super Bowl bundle was awesome. And I think anybody can do that. But I hope that that seller that we found in this particular niche that is selling a lot of items encourages you guys to get out there and create your own bundles, especially with plates, napkins, and all sorts of party decorations. Okay, so the next actual item that I wanted to show you that I also sold was a set of Halloween crows. And these crows, again, got them from my favorite store, Dollar Tree. As you can see, two pack right here, $14.95. I was selling a three pack of these crows and they were selling lights out crazy. So I highly recommend you jump into a niche like this and you just bundle products that are readily available one by one, like napkins, plates, crows, or anything like that. So you might be wondering, all right, Liz, I want to know how I can put this on steroids. Let me show you a tactic that I use using market intelligence's product discovery method in order to discover these bundles way ahead of time. Now, so what I mean by that is that Right now, we are about to approach Valentine's Day. So as a result, if I search an item that's being sold for Valentine's Day, let me show you what I mean. So I can search Valentine's Bundle, and it's gonna look like these items aren't really selling that well. Like let's take for instance, number one thing that comes up here is this, bre this bear with all this other stuff, and it's one million in home and kitchen. That's not an attractive BSR, right? These guys right here, the rank's not found, meaning hasn't sold in a long time. This one right here, 57,000, doesn't look like it's selling too well. However, I guarantee you that about two weeks before Valentine's Day, possibly even three, these BSRs are gonna be extremely, extremely low. So how do we find out if this stuff sells well or what really sells well during each holiday? Well, I like to use a tactic using uh, something called viral launch product discovery where I literally just put in an actual keyword and then I go down here, I leave it open to pretty much any category. I put in a keyword of Valentine's. And then what I search down here is I wanna see the best sales period, February, and the best sales pattern seasonal. And then I'm gonna hit show keywords and see what pops up. And what we see here is here are the keywords that I can now actively search on Amazon to see what products are listed on there and what products are already selling well so I can have an indication of what sells well. Valentine's for him, Valentine's Day gifts for him, Valentine's Day gift, Valentine's candy, hearts, gift baskets, cute Valentine's Day gift, Valentine's pillow covers. That's something I never would have thought of, but the list goes on and on and I can have some really great ideas. I can do socks, tattoos, cards. I really can get an idea of what sells well during Valentine's, and I can even order these by the average number of sales. So let's just say that we put, we wanna know what has the most sales, or we can even order it by revenue to really figure out what sells best during every single Valentine's. And this is something that you could do for every single holiday. So gift baskets sell like hotcakes. Gifts for men sell extremely well. Gifts for him, um, candy. A lot, of, a lot of ladies buying their men stuff. So if you haven't already thought of an of a item that you could buy for a guy, that would be what you would wanna put together, possibly a basket for him. Socks, um, Valentine's ideas for him, teddy bear Valentine's Day. So a lot of ideas that you can get and you can literally do this for any holiday. I'll go ahead and put Halloween here. And Halloween might be a little different, but let's just go and see what pops up. Let's pick a period here of October and let's pick seasonal because we want to know what products are seasonal that are selling. And let's see what pops up for Halloween. Again, you can really like joke, like mess around with this. Halloween candy, Halloween hoodies are really hot. Chocolate Halloween candy, Halloween costumes. 
um, adult costumes and you can get a really good idea Lego sets we can't sell those obviously but we can get a good idea of what we might want to sell and we don't want to look at costumes because that would be a little bit too difficult but some gems will come in here if you just have the patience to look through here and find ideas of what to sell treats you can put a lot of things under treats um, Hall Halloween for women fun Halloween costume for boys, bulk Halloween candy. You can always bundle candies. You can do a lot of different things to get a lot of sales. Halloween customs, I'm not sure what that is. Onesies for babies, but the list goes on and on. And I hope this gave you a lot of ideas on things that you can actually search for and start to think about selling for a future holiday. So the next holidays I can think of are Easter, graduation, end of school, back to school, and Halloween again. So that's all I have for this video. Again, if you guys have questions or comments, please post them below. I personally answer all those. And I hope that you've gotten a bunch of ideas and are ready to go for the next holiday that's coming up. I'll see you in the next video.